Okay, so sorry. As I told you, it was something that I, I, I really appreciate. And of course, it was my mother, and it, it was something that it encouraged me to keep on writing about this. Um, this was the first design, of course. There has been many, many versions of the of this first book. Okay, so next one, please. And this is my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know her pretty well, of course, uh, and. I know when she's happy, when she faces to a digital product, when I have web page. And right now she's not happy because it's when she tries to approach much more to the screen. I I know she doesn't understand something in the screen, so that's bad. That's bad for a digital product. And the next one, this one, and that's my mother when she's happy, when she's comfortable with a digital product. She tries to put herself comfortable. I don't know, it's something regarding uh, kitchens, <laughs> whatever it is. She just put herself comfortable and try to enjoy. This is really good. This was my preference when uh, we tried to develop soysuper.com. Soysuper.com is the uh, website I'm going to talk about you guys, okay? What is soysuper.com? Let's read this. Soysuper.com is a marketplace. Uh, where we try to offer a different user experience when doing your digital shopping in online supermarkets. In Spain, uh, online supermarkets have lack of good user experience and what, what we try to do is to offer a, a better user experience uh, absorbing all the products that online supermarkets have in, in Spain. We have more than 100,000 products in our platform, and we offer it in a different, in a different user experience. Okay, uh, we have no, we get no money from this uh, offering this new experience. We we make money from the big data. So we offer brands, uh, supermarkets, and statistical centers how users use this, uh, this kind of foods or drinks, uh, depending on the postcode, the family number, members, and all that stuff. So it's something about big data where we get the profit, okay? So it's super.com, it's called. And okay. Yeah. This was in July 2014. We have about 70,000 visits. 42,000 registered users, 42, 40, uh, 492, uh, uh, I don't know how to translate this. Order shops or orders, orders, shops or orders that month, that very month. And we've sent to the supermarkets, to the online supermarkets, all this money, that month. And we have new buyers, three, three, uh, 320 new buyers that month, July 2014, okay? So, uh, again, uh, when we try to design SoySuper.com, we, we focus a lot on how my mother should be using it. And I'm gonna give you some examples about what little micro-interaction sorts of micro copies and, and little big details that enhance the user experience for that uh, website, okay? Yeah, next thing. The first thing we, de we decided to do is to design, design the voice and the tone of the website. And you might think, what is the tone and the, and the, uh, and the voice of a, of, a web, also of a website? You have to design that. You need to uh, you need to know how to communicate to the user. Is it in first person, I all the time, or is it third person, second person, you all the time, your account, your bills, your shopping cart, or is it my account, my 
my bills, my shopping cart, all those little details are also very important and are key for the user queue. What is the better of the? Of it the depends. Users? It depends on your product. It's something you have to decide. You have to decide what is the personality of your website. So, for example, if it's a bank, probably it's more suitable my account because it looks more uh, personal. Uh, personal, more privacy. Okay. If it's, for example, um, a streaming website for films, then it's for family. Maybe it's your second person. Makes sense. <laughs> Makes more sense. But the thing is that you have to decide what is the personality of a website at the beginning, at the very beginning. Because from that point on, emails are going to be launched this way, and error messages are going to be launched that way. Uh, Buttons and links are going to be decided that way. It's something you have, you have to decide at the moment. You have to decide the personality of a website. It might sound very, very abstract, but if you do that, it's pretty easy. It's just simple. It's small details that enhance the user experience. Okay. So next, please. Of course, SoySuper.com is completely open. <coughs> And when I say open, it means that you can use it from the very beginning. You don't have to give your email address or create a password to start using Study Super. You can browse everywhere. You can uh, search for a certain product. I mean, you can browse around, no problem. That. The only small detail is that we can we cannot offer an exact price of a product because we don't know your postcode. So we need to know your postcodes to give you an exact price of a certain of every every single product, right? So what we decide to do is when we should ask for key information to users, because at the very beginning we didn't want to bother them. We, we want we want them to explore it, and when we feel comfortable can start to use it. We, we can start to demand those big details, emails, create a password, give us your age, whatever it is, your name. But at the very beginning, it makes no sense. Who are you? Why are you demanding those, those big details, my personal details? That's pretty important. So for us, that big change was when the user added a first product to the shopping cart. For us, that was, well, the user is comfortable with this, and he just added one product to the, to the shopping cart. And from that very moment, we decided to create a micro interaction. And this is it. We wanted also to use uh, some funny, some funny uh, images. And we are pretty comfortable with Sesame Street. So we, we decided to buy this, uh, this Sesame Street guy. And from the Sesame Street official store in the United States, he didn't send to you to Europe. So we have a friend who was on holidays over there, and he brought it, the model, and we make some pictures like a, like if it was a model, and uh, we recreated the uh, history. If you remember Superman, when the Saffron, there was a problem, he was like like me. He got into the cabin, and he was dressed like a Superman. Well, in this case, it's super cocoa. So at the beginning, it's like that, press casually. And then, as soon as you give inputs, as you give your personal data, we are starting creating super cocoa. So the more data you give, the more super cocoa is exiting from the door, etc. Okay? So that was, and that was great. Since, since we did this, uh, registered users broke it to our surprise, because it, it was something very homemade, but it works. Okay, the next one, please. Can you see it? Funny. Yeah. <laughs> when, he's, when we have no, uh, I don't know, but probably you guys, mm -hmm. but this is a very popular guy here. It's a singer, taxi driver. He was a guy a few minutes ago. And this was very, very, very famous. 
So we wanted to give you to give this guy uh, credit in our website, and we have when we have no results, we offer this this image. And people laugh when they, when they see this screen. No result, but something funny, and they got no frustration. They are happy. They they go out from this zero page result happy. Do you believe it? Sure. Next one. Um, when you have a shopping cart ready to launch to the supermarket, because you pay in the supermarket, you don't pay with us. You send your shopping cart to the supermarket. So it takes some time from sending soy soup, uh, your shopping cart from super, soy super to, for example, cat food. We don't know how much. So we decided to create a game. Three in a row. Three in a row. So we could, we created a three in a row game, a mini game, while it, we were exporting the shopping cart. But the thing is that it was programmed by us, and it was very well programmed because it's, it was something uh, something for a uh, one minute maximum. So we didn't pay too much attention, and the game, uh, I mean the system puts two of the slots. Como se ponen dos fichas, fichas como se diría. Two slots, while the human puts only one. So the, the system has advantage, and because of that, humans, we humans, <laughs> spend much more time here trying to beat the system. So <laughs> it was an error, but uh, they spend a lot, a lot of time here trying to beat the system. It was really funny also. So we decided to uh, give another warning here, saying, hey, this is already done. <laughs> what are you doing here? Let, let's move. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's true. OK, so next one. This is another, another thing we pay a lot, a lot of attention on emails. Emails for us are part of the user experience. So, it's not only a website. You need to create the personality, as I was talking at the beginning. So emails are also very, very, very important. And I don't need to translate to you this because it's very complicated. But uh, this is like when you are trying to uh, to send a shopping cart, but you, you finally don't do it, and we track that. And when, when we see these this cases, this, this kind of cases, we, what we do is to send them an email, but a very, very deep email that gets to your heart. So, I mean, in this email, what we try to do is to, uh, as in the shopping cart, we're talking to the user. So you let me alone, but why, why do I deserve this? Why are you doing this to me? And all that stuff. And, to our surprise, users try to uh, start from here and they convert to the shopping cart, which is great, just with copy. And it's amazing, but it's true. Okay, so next one. We also, when, when we have a new registered user, we also send them a questionnaire. And you probably will think, questioner, do they fill it up? Yes, they do it. We design it also every single question to make it fine. So every question, they, they are also always willing to see the next question because they find it funny. And they, they answer our questions. It's funny, but they answer our question. That's our objective. So we get it. So these guys here say to that questioner that, they like how they talk to me. I like how you talk to me. Close, very, very close. Congratulations. This is one feedback from one user. The next one, please. With the desenfadado tone, <laughs> <laughs> you talk to your client. With the informal tone, you talk to our to to the client. This is another 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 user. Okay. The next one. Press. And something simple when to a task that is it looks boring, 
it's like, uh, as boring as making a soaking cart. So they find it fresh and simple. This is another user, of course. Many, many users say the same. The answers you give us are fresh, as well as your emails. With, with that, you, you, are man, you, achieve, you achieve that my emails don't get straight ahead to the spam. And this is, this is amazing also. They don't go to spam. This is good. Because when I, when I find something that is not interesting to me, just a button spam, I don't see it anymore. And we, we are managing the users not to do this. So it's great. The next one. Error messages. They make me laugh. I still remember you for that. So they remember us. They remember so it's super. That's amazing also. Just because of the an error message, which is negative, and you remember the error message. Something negative. That's also very important. Error messages might be designed. They need to be thinking properly. Okay? Next one. With this email. The email was a questioner. And they fill it up. With the, how do you react to the questions and the web page overall? Okay, next one. Humor. I think it's very good that you have put humor. Congratulations. More. The language, the informal language you use. I love it. Close. You make me trust in this website. Trustiness is also important when you do copy. Okay? You're nice, very nice, so much that I'm going to imitate your style <laughs> for my website. <laughs> Another one. More. So, after reading this, uh, this user's feedback, I have some, some thoughts about this. Some thoughts about this. And the first one comes. Uh, yeah. uh, could you give us an, explain, uh, an example for the questions, for the funny questions? I can show it to you later ah, on okay, because okay. I, I don't have access to her computer. Okay. So I can show it to you. Um, the first thing is because it's about a conversation. Uh, we normally tend to write the copies and the links like it was something for scientific or something like that. Please click here or more information there. That's something we don't use when you are talking to a friend. So why do we use it on a digital website? So my first thought is that it, it's all about a conversation. And when you treat a website like a conversation, I was talking to my mom, for example, because I decided that was the main, the main starting from my website. Things are different. And you, you type your content in a very different way. So that's, that's why it's really, really important to design the personality of a website. The very beginning. From that comes the tone, and from that comes the voice also. Okay? So, next one, please. It is not accepted from the, from the very first minute. I mean, it's something that it takes time. You need to get used to your users. And, uh, well, sometimes you, you are lucky, and you, and you find it the right uh, voice and tone. Sometimes, sometimes not. So you need to uh, fine tuning every day the copy till you get a very good, uh, uh, I mean, personality of the website. Okay. This is the last one. <laughs> Next one. Little bit details. I don't know if you if you know the website littlebitdetails.com. Well, that's amazing, amazing website. So you, you should visit it. It's really, really good for inspiration. Okay. And the little details come from... <laughs> ah, sorry, but this, this needs to go in Spanish because you don't understand it. No, put aquí me lata la mandanga. La mandanga original del Fari. Un tributo al Fari. O sea, más allá de que aparezca la foto del Fari, creemos que también la mandanga original, que no sé si la habéis visto, 
Pero como se está de derecho a poner eso en la página. Derecho ahí. Cuando nos digan que no se puede, pues lo quitamos. <risa> Pero esto es un tributo al Fari también. La manual original. Y va directamente al Fari. Al vídeo del Fari. Es algo difícil de explicar porque es un cultural. Sí, es algo muy cultural. I will try to explain it to you. If you link on this, if you click on this link, you will probably more or less understand it. Okay? Sorry about that. If you would be able to reproduce it, it would be easier to understand. Yeah, that. but again, let's finish first the, okay. the, the keynote. Behind behind that website, that interface, there are persons like you. So again. Think about those persons. Not, not, don't think in a in a straight way. You need to think on person. You need to look close to the persons. It's supposed to people really do. Okay. More. No more technical things. No, don't avoid the click here. The more info. The, something very that looks very technical. And the blah blah blah. You can do this. You can do that. Of course, I can do that. I'm on the internet. I'm free to do it. Just put imperatives and something that looks close to the user. Okay. Speaking silver. Word. I don't know how to translate it. Sorry. Yeah. No, no bad words. I mean, not not fuck and all that stuff. But from my point of view, it's good to uh, to take some um, to have some freedom for. Creating new words, even even creating new words. I'm going to give you an example. Also, next. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, our Christmas, our Christmas email. We wanted to create a Christmas email, but we didn't want the because we didn't, we didn't want we use it to. <laughs> we we even created a verb, which is a gambita, <laughs> which is here. <laughs> So, and this is what, actually this is what really retreated in the, in the social networks also. It was very, really funny to see how people reacted to this Christmas signal. It was really, really funny. Okay, so next one. It's important also to read, to read the text aloud. The same way as when, you, when you're working on a Word document and you send it to the printer, and the first thing you see is something you didn't work properly. It happens the same with the, with the with the text in digital world. You need to to read it uh, aloud because you hear them, and sometimes you say, no, "This is not good." We tend to think on the on the on the copy, like in, a, in our private world, but you need to read it aloud. It's sound different, very different, really. Another thing. From my point of view, I think it's important to uh, to uh, to be, when you when you demand something from your users, it's important to uh, give them something and then ask for something. But at the beginning, give them something. And I'm going to show you an example also. Next, uh, some. Uh, some supermarkets don't have many many pictures, so the, there is a lack of, of user experience in, in that in, the, in those supermarkets because we need some uh, some pictures to uh, illustrate the product. So we decided to ask the users to send us pictures of certain products we don't have, and what we did what we did is to offer them a T-shirt, official T-shirt, and then demand them demand them. Uh, to send us pictures. So, but the, from the beginning, we offer something, official tissues, and then we ask them to do something. Okay. Next, we also like to. We also think it's important to include the call to action at the beginning and ending the action with the same action at the end. I don't know if you understand, but I'm going to explain to you with an example here. Next one. So, again, so we start here with a, with a phrase here, and we end with, a, with the same phrase here. 
And it's funny because they start reading this, they smile, because this is a, 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 funny, a funny phrase. You don't understand it, but it's a funny phrase. And uh, we end up with the same phrase, or more or less. Makes sense, they are happy. Okay? Inventing call to actions. Yes, it's good because you have, when, when you have a, a, a comfortable context, or a funny context, or a feedback context, why not inventing some call to action, some buttons? It's funny also. For example, when we ask for feedback, we don't put the label send. We put bomba. And they and they and they are laughing a lot when they click on this button. They are sending us feedback, but they are laughing at the same time. It's funny also. Next one. And this is not something for me. This is uh, from Joshua Porter. I don't know if you know, if you know the website Bocardo, bocardo.com. You should, very important. But ironically, the smallest bits of copy, the micro copy, can have the biggest impact in the website. So it's not something that I'm telling you guys. It's something that gurus recommend to do it. So you should pay attention, a lot of attention to copy and micro copy because it's important and it's key for your business. If I receive an email, a confirmation email, it is technical and it's called and it's called I think this is something that I'm not going to enjoy it and websites websites are done to enjoy it, to make people enjoy it. it's it's our work okay it's very contextual as we've seen in some examples and uh, reduce cognitive friction it makes you think just you just do it because you feel you should do it you you can't do it it's precious it's organic I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's just a flow. Okay, next one. So, this is good because microcopy helps my mother to step by step understand the interface. So, with small doses of microcopy, we can help uh, not very expert users to understand an interface. <coughs> this is all. This is all. <laughs> Any questions? Um, yeah, maybe I'm a little bit dumb, uh, <laughs> but I I didn't get the concept of micro copy copy. I mean, yes, you're talking about <laughs> uh, you're talking about creativity and a little bit uh, details and all that make a difference. But uh, what does it have to be with copying? What are we copying? Are we Copy. No, copy no, is, no, no, is no, no, regarding text. text. What? Text. text. Ah, 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 it's a copy. It's a microcopy. It's a microcopy. It's a microcopy. It's a That's microcopy. Okay. Do you understand? Microcopy is the, the, the label of a button, for example. Oh, okay. The labeling of a link, or of a drop down, or whatever it is. That's microcopy. Okay. And copy is. Right. A block of text. Okay. Uh, I want to talk like uh, this is good for like public, like general public pages. I don't know for business to business or something like this. Maybe. Well, it depends. <laughs> it's something you have to decide. It's a personality. You have to design the personality. At the when you decide what personality might have your website, but why not include some some little tips for an everyday tool? But imagine an everyday tool. Ray, technical tone. Why not adding some some fun? Also, can you tell us a bit more about the questionnaire after they get registered? Um, so, uh, because what I understood is that you can web browse the whole page. Yes. And after I feel comfortable with the website, then I decided to move forward and register. Mm -hmm. So. Did, do you immediately send an email to the to the customer no, no, no. or how does we send, it work? We send them after a few days, two days. Okay. Asking them if they are comfortable with the website and if they have time, we offer them a questionnaire. Can you fill it up? Okay. So the the design is so cool and so easy going that they actually understand every single process, every single 
a workflow from the website without even a, a tutorial? So no, we don't have to be tutorial. But why are you saying that? We send a questionnaire. Yes, no, them, no, no, no. It's a quality, uh, quality question. Mm -hmm. If it's comfortable, would you, would you recommend this to a friend? Uh, what did you like the most? What about the speed? But we also try to put a lot of attention, attention in the questions. They are designed, designed to make you wish the next question. Uh, how many questions does the questionnaire have? I think uh, 15. Long enough. And they do it every day. We, we get plenty of questions, of responses. Is that with that, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Survey monkey. Ah, okay. There's no. Not, not uh, Google questionnaires. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think this is very cool, but we are all startups, so we are all at the beginning of our point. And I, I don't know if when we have to start doing this, instead of uh, including new features and new functionality, but it's going to take time to design the personality that you need. How you should communicate with your users. Oh, okay. It's something you decide at the beginning. When we decide, okay, for example, speaking, if someone registers in Spanish, we're going to say hola. In French, bonjour, and so we can say something like this for the 30 languages you have. But it's, it's taking a bit of time. And yeah, instead it's of not this, that time. It's not yeah, that time. this is for one, one thing, and then another one, and then. I think, I think you, should, you, you should. You should. Uh, how do I explain to you? You should identify. The major corners of your website, the big corners of it, where people spend much more time. And over there, offer them those micro interactions, those little details to surprise them. Maybe they are, they, you might probably might have four corners in your website, in your, in your app, in your case. And those little corners, imagine when you refresh, you normally uh, shut down. You have plenty of space when you are refreshing a mobile app. You refresh, all the content comes out. What about the space? It's empty. Offer them some, something nice. An image, a copy, happy birthday. I don't know. It's very easy. And you have a lo lot of corners to offer this. And it's not that complicated because it's just copy. It's just you invent a phrase. It's not that complicated. It's just to think about it. We are always focused on creating new functionality, but it's probably better to reduce functionality and offer it in a different day, in a different way. With something natural, something appealing. I know it takes time, but you have to decide it at the very beginning. You are on time. Only three months old. I'm afraid that we only offer our website in English, and do you think that uh, using like microcopy in English would work? Internationally, because we have people from all over the world visiting. And right now, we keep to like pretty generic terms. So yeah, a good example should be uh, Mechi, for example. They do it very well. They offer it's in English for the international people, and they do it very well. They have those little corners, and they offer something that surprises us. It's good. You can do it. More questions? You can dig it. Mm -hmm. Maybe the music of El Fabi would be a good example <laughs> you know, to, to show that it was good. Yeah, but I, I don't know if it would have said it's something it's something shaking in flamenco. No, I'm not wearing a I think one of the things that I Hi. Okay. 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 Yeah, but we have to take it.
Sí, sí, sí. Es que no permite, ya no te permite quitarme nada. El tema de la mandanga, y en ese momento que estábamos poniendo la partida, pues se acabaron los chavales y empezaron a aliar un poco. Se acabaron de ganar. Venga, chavales, a la calle, la mandanga no va a ir. Déjalo, chavales, déjalo, déjalo, déjalo que caminen, no me lo caminen. Si los chavales caminan pegarle un poquito a la alejía, o caminan pegarle un poquito a la mandanga, pues déjalo. Entonces cogí de la partida y le dije a un amigo de aplástate aquí y juega con la partida por mí, que estoy al mismo auspicio. Total que eh, cogí la nave, cogí el coche, me fui a, a una esquina, paré allí el auto, y yo pegué a en el tema. Y fíjate que se cada media hora, pues no tenía el fin. Total que volví a los chavales y digo, mira, mira lo que he hecho, lo que a ver qué os parece. Y cuando vieron el lío, dijo, no, pues esto es un mero formazo de miedo, no me voy a más con esto. O esto tiene un tirón enorme. Total que ya empecé a marcarles la. a hacerles un poquito la cosa, porque yo no tengo un YouTube, tengo que escribir, hacer la melodía, escribir. Y hacer el ritmo al mismo tiempo. Y empecé entonces a decir: Soy super. Soy super. Ah, okay. Okay. So, if you go, this is the link. El tema de la mandanga. Que te meto un correo. ¿Cómo? No, y no se los vale. O sea, por ejemplo, lo mío, que es de bebés, a mí se me están ocurriendo un montón de cosas. Ya, no es así, la cosa. Ya, no es así, la cosa. Sí, 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 Okay, I have to go. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>